Hello everyone. A long time ago, Gooseworks announced that our favorite The Amazing Digital Circus will have eight episodes. And lately I've been wondering who will be the main character in the new episode, which should be released between late January and mid-March. I've compared many metrics, including frequent polls in my community, and based on all the data, facts, and guesses, I've tried to find out the truth about the protagonist of the second episode of Digital Circus. I will look at each character separately and come to a conclusion about each one. I think everything is clear here and we can move on to the video itself, but before you watch it, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on the channel. And here we go. Let's just say that Pomni is the main character of the Digital Circus. We can even say that she became the most recognizable symbol of the circus. And besides, the pilot episode was dedicated to her, which means that her next appearance as the main character of the episode will either not take place at all, or the final eighth episode will be dedicated to her. And as Gooseworks themselves stated, Zubal, despite all her ambiguity and strangeness, will also get some screen time, but it will only be in the third episode, so it makes no sense to consider her as a candidate for the main role in the second episode. We've decided everything, and now let's talk about our characters, because one of them will definitely be the main character of the new episode. Let's start with Gangle. This simple and uninteresting character hides a big secret. At least we don't know the truth about her face. Are her two masks really masks? Or is her real face a mask of sadness? Or maybe she has no face at all? Also, in the pilot episode, we were shown very little about Gangle. All we learned was that Gangle is a crybaby who is afraid of any sound and worries a lot about everyone else. And yes, she is Jax's favorite because he doesn't make fun of anyone. Why is Gangle so quiet? What happened to her before? And has she always been like this? I think that despite her low rating, a lot of people would be interested to know more about her. But again, I will repeat that Gangle is not as popular as many other characters, and the creators understand this very well. And therefore, to fix the Digital Circus as the main animation project on YouTube, they need to make an episode about someone who has at least some popularity and interest from the audience. And all this tells us that the chance that Gangle will be the main character of the second episode is very small. I will give a maximum of 5% to this option. But the fifth or sixth episode may well be dedicated to our cute crybaby Gangle. Now let's look at the most likely candidates. And the first one I'd like to mention is Ragatha. Ragatha is the sweetest and definitely the cutest character in the digital circus. I mean, just look at her. Even her movements after Kane healed her seem pretty cute to me. But now on to something else. Ragatha is a very popular character in the digital circus, and everyone remembers the scene where our puppet had a panic attack because of memories and thoughts of leaving the digital circus. I think that if it happens that Ragatha will be the main character of the new episode of the digital circus, her storyline will often overlap with Pomni, and it would be very logical because we were shown that the girls have built a good relationship with each other, because in the same scene with her healing, she came and stood next to Pomni and not with anyone else. And in this case, it will be logical to make a continuation of the pilot episode where Pomni and Ragatha will look for a way out of the digital horror together, but only more attention will be paid to the story of the doll instead of the jester. But it could be that each new episode will not be connected to the previous one, but will be a separate story. And in this case, Ragatha can also fit the role of the main character of the episode, but I think it is unlikely, because many people, including me, want to see how the process of abstraction happens, and I think that in the new episode we can show it, and in this case, Ragatha is not suitable, because it will be very painful and unpleasant to lose such a nice character. So, I will give a maximum of 25-30% that Ragatha will be the key character of the new episode. And talking about abstraction, it would be wrong not to start our part about a chess fan or just a genius madman kinger. After all, if we stick to the theory that the new episode will be built around the abstraction of some character, we can't find a better candidate. Kinger is a very strange and fearful man indeed. He's probably afraid of everything. Characters, sounds, and his strange movements at random moments make us realize that maybe his best days are over, and it's time to forget all the horrors that happen in the digital circus. I think the Kinger himself has long since ready read, but maybe someone or something is keeping him inside the digital circus, forcing him to go through this torture every day, every unbelievably horrible day. But on the other hand, many people are really fans of this chess piece and are waiting for a new episode to see the transformation of his madness, or on the contrary, waiting for his healing. Let's talk about two variants of the plot of the new episode, because the probability of Kinger becoming the main character of the new episode depends on it. If we present the plot of the second episode as the exact transformation of some character into an abstract monster, then it is unlikely that Kinger will become the protagonist, because as I said before, his fan base is very large and such a part of the audience may simply lose interest. So in this case, I can give only 30% that we will see Kinger as the protagonist of the second episode. But if the new episode will be a separate story of some character, 
then I think that 50% chance that it will be Kinger. Why 50 and not 100, I will tell you later. Remember how I said that there are a lot of secrets around Gangle? So her partner in the pilot episode has a lot more of them, and they are much more interesting. And in general, I think the real story of Kinger should be very fascinating, especially his past. After all, it is still not clear what happened at the end that made him so strange. And of course, the silhouette that looks so much like Kinger is a mystery to everyone trying to figure out what it is. And if we are told all this, and at the same time the development of the plot of the pilot episode is shown in some places, it will be a perfect second episode. Remember how I said I could only give 50% of Kinger as the main character of the new episode and said I'd explain later? The thing is that not only Kinger has a huge fandom, but Jax is probably the second most popular character in the Amazing Digital Circus, after Pomni of course. And again, I only give him 50% for his appearance, and here's why. Jax's story is not as interesting as Kinger's, but his behavior raises a lot of questions among the viewers. No one understands why he behaves so horribly towards the other inhabitants of the Digital Circus. They are stuck in this place forever just like him, and instead of trying to make friends and have fun, Jax just does what he does to mock and ridicule everyone else. Finding out the reason for this behavior, i.e. our bunny's past, would be insanely interesting. And in general, it would be interesting to see how Jax shows his relationships with other characters of the Digital Circus, or vice versa. If he gets bored with his actions, it would be interesting to see how he behaves in that case. And remember what I said about the fandom for this character. I think his story is as much expected as Kinger's, so it's hard to say who will be the main character of the new episode. And again, if the plot of the new episode will be built around the abstraction of any character, then in this case the maximum 15% that it will be Jax. Because as we know there are fans of the whole series, and there are those who watch a series because of a certain character, and with the Digital Circus is the same situation. As you have already noticed, Jax and Kinger have the highest probability to be the main characters of the new episode. Let's compare them quickly and make a small conclusion, and right after that I have someone else for you whose role could be very important in the next episode, and you write your opinion about who I'm talking about in the comments. Both characters have a huge fan base that will not forgive you for turning their favorite character into an abstract monster, but at the same time, the more popular the character is, the more popular the episode in which that character is the main character, and since Jax actually has a higher popularity than Kinger, it would be wise to devote a new episode to Jax namely his past history and such, and continue the story of the pilot episode. That said, no character in the new episode should turn into an abstracted monster. And in this case, I am 75-80% sure that the new episode will be dedicated to our favorite rabbit Jax. By the way, why doesn't he have a tail? Maybe you know? And the promised character that might appear in the new episode, but will probably not be the main character, is Kaufmo. It is possible that he will play a supporting role, where he will tell absolutely everything he knows about the basement about Kane, and about everything else. But if this happens, it will be a complete plot twist, because in this case we will learn that it will be possible to return from the terrible world Kaufmo was in in the pilot episode. And there will also be the possibility of the reappearance of all those characters who have been scattered for a long time. But as I said about Kaufmo, they won't be the main characters of the episodes because we already have the main characters, but as secondary characters I would be very happy to see them. And I want to say something about Kane and Pomni. If everything is clear with Pomni, and even if the new episode will be a full continuation of the pilot episode with Pomni in the main role, it would be very interesting to know more about Kane. Honestly, Kane's story is the most mysterious to me, because even if he is an AI, who created him? And if he was a human whose consciousness was transferred to the AI, it's also interesting to hear how he felt at that moment. If Kane will be the main character of the new episode, I think we will definitely be able to find out all his secrets and answer one of the main questions of the Digital Circus. Is Kane really a villain or a savior? But as for the likelihood of both Pomni and Kane being the main characters, I would put it at no more than 2-3%, because Pomni was already the main character, and Kane is more of an anti-hero, and if they are going to tell his story, it will be at the end of the first season. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Write comments, put likes, subscribe, and of course watch my new videos, because my channel was created exclusively for you and to raise your spirits. Well, I want to wish you success and good luck and say see you soon in new videos that appear every two days.